Okay, my dear students, uh, let us this solve this problem which is given in new 216 here. Now, uh, these similar charges are hanging because as they are simil similar because of the repulsion here they move aside then what are the things going to f uh, find here force is acting in this direction mg is acting downwards and the resultant of these two can be taken as like this taken like this here now so this is going to be the resultant here okay so and this angle is theta this angle also theta corresponding angles then after that, you all know that uh, this is the distance between the two positive charges which are hanging is taken as x. Then after that, we can write this is opposite side f and this is adjacent side mg here. Okay, So like this we can consider. Then after that you can write tan theta is equal to f by mg here. And you all know that f is nothing but q1 q2 by k q1 q2 by r square. But here the distance is x, so we can write q1, q2 taken as similar charges. So we can write q square by k q square by m into g into x square because the distance here is considered as x square here. So we got the value of tan theta. So what is tan theta actually? Tan theta is nothing but k q square by mg into x square similarly here if you consider this as sine theta here also if we consider sine theta what are we going to get so you will get sine theta is equal to x by 2 opposite side and the length of the pendulum is taken as l so x by 2l is going to be sine theta for small angles we can consider sine theta approximately equal to tan theta so we can also write this as x by 2l is equal to q square k q square by mg into x square so now we can take q square to one side and take mg into x cube by 2 into l here okay so these are all going to be constant we can write q square is equal to okay here x x will become x cube because cross multiplication if you do here it is going to become x cube so therefore q square is directly proportional to x cube and k k taken as x k into x cube then after differentiate here uh, k i mean uh, q if you take here this is x power of 3 by 2 goes to that side square goes to that side becomes 3 by 2 here so differentiating dq by dt with respect to time k this is 3 by 2 into x power of 3 by 2 minus x because d by dx of x power n is nothing but nx power of n minus 1 so uh, finally again once again if you differentiate just for x you'll be getting dx by dt dx by dt is considered as v here okay so it is considered as v here okay so now if you observe here what are you going to get here now so dq by dt is equal to k times of 3 by 2 x power of 1 by 2 into v okay so with this it is understood that v is directly proportional to x power 1 by 2 and uh, which is equal to directly proportional to uh, we can write this as x power of minus 1 by 2 so therefore v is directly proportional to x power of minus 1 by 2 that's it so this is going to be a correct option that is a option hope you have understood this one thank you very much